Hello. In today's video, I want to show how to use Terraform function such as file and template. Let's start from the file. And I'm going to show you on the example of user data for AWS. So what is the user data? Uh, user data, this is the script which can be passed to the EC2 instance when it's created on AWS. And during the instance creation, this script will be executed. I prepared this script. It's really simple. It's set up HTTPD. Uh, enable HTTPD, start the service, and create simple web page with content is called Maxim website. And now I need to pass this file to the Terraform. So how can I do it? So first of all, to add user data, I'm going to use parameter user data for resource AWS instance. And first I will use the function named file. And in quotes, I'm going to specify HTTP setup.sh. And now I'm going to run Terraform Apply. And it should show that instance will be created. All the fields are the same as from previous video, but new field add. That's called user data. And user data shown as some hash. This is base64 encoded data. I'm going to type yes. And on the AWS, immediately I should see result of this user data by clicking on the instance, instance setting and edit user data. And as you see, here I have the script which I provided right here in this file and Terraform successfully was able to read this file and pass it to the AWS. And instance should be ready in a few minutes and I should be able to open the website. I have the public IP, I have the security group which have port 80 open to the my IP address and now I can copy this paste it right there uh, maybe my IP changed so I would need to go to the security group it said our connection refused maybe instance is not up yet or my IP changed so let's first click here I can go edit inbound and I can click my IP no my IP is the same so looks like uh, user data script is not executed yet, but now it's executed and I see that this is the my website. So next what I'm going to do is to run Terraform destroy. So file allow us to work with the static files, but what if we need to generate this file dynamically, like for example, take some values from the Terraform output or use any other kind of dynamic value. How can I do it? So I will back to the code. I would reuse the same user data, but file I'm going to replace with template file. So this allows me to generate a file based on some template. And I prepare another template, which just looks really similar to what we have in the previous. But in this case, I'm replacing the Maxim name with variable called user. So how can I now pass user to this file? In the main TF, where I specify the template file, I can add comma. And in the curly bracket, I can specify user equal, for example, to John. So once I say this, I can run now Terraform apply again. It will show again user data as base64 encoded. I will type yes instance is created it's still in pending state so let's wait for, for a few more seconds but i should be able to open user data immediately i can click here edit user data oh maybe this is the wrong instance oh i forgot to change them because i'm using http setup.sh and my template is dot tpl so now let's wait for this to be completed and I'm going to run Terraform apply one more time. It should detect that user data is changed. It will change this hash to that one. I'm going to type yes. And it shouldn't take long because it's modifying the existing instance.
let me click here so it's stopping the instance because user data cannot be uh, modified when instance is in running state so it's still the old user data because instance need to be completely stopped so now instance is stopped i should be able to click instance setting edit user data and this time name john is here so i can parameterize a lot of different uh, variables inside of this template file i can use the outputs from the terraform to dynamically generate this file but let's try uh, to open website when instance will be up so now instance in the in the ready state i can copy the ip address one more check to make sure we're using the correct user data yeah john is here i copied the ip from this instance and when i paste it right here it still shows that this is maxim website this is because user data in the aws executed only during the instance creation if user data was changed after nothing going to happen because it's executed only one time after instance creation so to see some real results i would need to do terraform destroy to destroy this instance then to run terraform apply and only after that I will see the result of the user data. So once instance is terminated, I'm going to run Terraform apply to create the instance again. And now when instance is ready, I can go to the AWS console. I can take the IP of the instance. I will put it right here. And in this time, they show John website. Okay. Thank you for your attention.